What's up guys, DRock1992 here. For this next video and for my next movie review, I'm going to be reviewing a movie I saw about a week ago. Um, I saw it with a few of my friends. For the first time, I had never seen this movie before. Um, it's an action film. Action is one of my favorite genres along with comedy. Uh, and this movie had the great Arnold Schwarzenegger in it. Uh, this movie is the Arnold Schwarzenegger film, Sabotage. Came out just last year. Uh, this movie <clears throat> also stars Sam Worthington, uh, Terrence Howard, and company. I think Joe Mang Mang Manganiello, too. Um, of course, for those of you who are big comic book fans... Terrence Howard was War Machine in the first Iron Man movie. Uh, and for you Magic Mike fans, for all the ladies out there, uh, Joe Mangianella is the voice, uh, was in the Magic Mike films. I think both of them, as a matter of fact. And Sam Worthington is a pretty well-known actor, you know, himself. Um, maybe not as well-known as your Brad Pitts or your Will Smiths, but he's been in movies. And of course, you got the Arnold. You know, you got Arnold in there. And it's bound to be a, an interesting movie. Uh, this movie was interesting. Uh, but I will get to that later. I'm going to get into the plot right now. So, Arnold Schwarzenegger is a DEA agent. And his team, Terrence Howard, Sam Worthington, uh, um, Joe Manginello, and company are his teammates, his, his overall team. So Arnold Schwarzenegger and his team of ragtag, ragtag people, um, they go retrieve money for the government. Uh, stolen, uh, actually I think it's drug money, as a matter of fact. But, they don't plan to give all that drug money to the government. They plan to keep $10 million of it for themselves. But, the $10 million is missing. And nobody's sure where it is. Uh, it goes missing, and no one's sure where that $10 million is. So, it's a fight to the finish, basically. It's sort of a... I don't know, it's sort of a rat race. Remember that movie, Rat Race, that came out 2001, I think? It's sort of the rat race. You know, you can kind of draw comparisons to that movie in particular. And so the quest is they have to find the $10 million. And as a result, the team gets fractured. Uh, the teammates, you know, the team gets fractured and the chemistry that they once had is tested. Big time. Um, and that essentially is the plot of the film. You know, it involves $10 million. But when I was watching it, I was a little confused at first, at the beginning. Uh, because I wasn't exactly sure what was going on but once I kind of watched it once I kind of got into it um yeah I, it, this movie was about 10 million dollars and the sabotage of the 10 million dollars hence the name sabotage so the characters um Arnold is Arnold in this movie I think he really is it's just another Arnold Schwarzenegger performance. There's nothing, but it's a below, um, it's basically, it's, it's definitely not one of his best performances, you know, in, in a movie. It isn't, you know. So if you watch this movie, it, it isn't the best performance of his career. But he's okay in it. He, he's Arnold. Basically, you know, he's he's Arnold. He's basically what we know and love. Uh, but just, eh, all right. Uh, 
And then it's basically... In this movie, it's basically Arnold, and then there's everybody else. Uh, the crew of Arnold Schwarzenegger is... Oh, quite honestly, they act like tra uh, they act like trailer trash. F bombs after f bombs, swear word after swear word. Um, they just go on and on, and it gets to be, um, it just gets to be something that it it just I don't know. It gets old maybe after a while. It, it's just not and. I don't mind swearing in films. I really don't. I mean, swearing in films, you know, it's happened a lot of times before in movie history. Um, and, <clears throat> but, the way the characters acted in Sabotage, the way, not Arnold, but the team, the way the team acted in Sabotage and using the swear words... The team acted like trailer trash, using all those swear words. This team just didn't sound intelligent enough as DEA agents. This, and that was a turnoff for me, honestly. You're a DEA agent. You're supposed to, I don't know, you're just... They should have acted a little more professional and things like that than what they were. But this movie seems like it was it was characterized as Arnold Schwarzenegger and his ragtag team of trailer trash misfits. That's basically what it was. And Arnold's got to be, you know, Arnold's like simmer down and stop it. And um, in Arnold voice, simmer down, stop it. Basically. So, I mean, the team is... This movie, like I said, is basically Arnold and everybody else. I mean, Arnold does carry this movie, but it's not... My cat's in the video. Uh, but it's not unbelievable Arnold. It's not... This isn't Terminator Arnold. This isn't True Lies Arnold. This isn't any of his classic movies. This is a step below, definitely. But nothing irked me more in this movie than the way the movie was shot. The camera angles, the just the, 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 the overall way the movie was shot. It was god-awful, the way the movie was shot. I hated the way this movie was shot. Uh, did I mention I hated it? Uh, yeah. This... This movie, I mean, it just seemed like with this movie, you had... This movie had a $35 million budget. You honestly could have made this movie better shot. You just could. This movie looked like it had a $10 budget. The way the movie was shot. Well, maybe that's not fair. It's just, um... That this film looked like a couple of, I don't know, it, it looked like a type of film, it almost looked like a student film in some ways. A student film slash maybe a student film that the student did when he was drunk. I don't know, that's just, just, I can't really explain explain it all that well, but just... Now, if you watch the movie, you may agree with me, or you don't, but just, no. This movie needed to be shot a hundred times better than what it was. Honestly, it just did not... It just wasn't good. And then... The plot of the film, there are a lot of twists and turns concerning the $10 million in this sabotage film. A lot of twists and turns and things like that that you don't see coming. On one hand, the plot should be better refined because 
the plot was complicated a bit. On the other hand, it was nice to see, you know, the twists and turns. You, one character, it, it seemed like one character stole the $10 million, then another character steals the $10 million, then another character, and it goes on until the ending of the film, which is very surprising. I'm just going to say that. The ending is very surprising. So, overall, I gotta give this movie three out of five stars. It was entertaining. Uh, it was entertaining enough. You know, it, it was an entertaining enough film. It, it brought the action, for sure. Even though some of the action, some of the... I'm one that likes blood and guts in movies... There were probably a little too much blood and guts. It was it was a violent movie. This is not the kind of movie you take your five-year-old kid to see. This just isn't. Uh, but yeah, I mean, the blood and guts, I guess they were okay. Um, you could tell in some parts that the blood and guts were not real. You know, not real enough. I, even though they're fake, they weren't depicted as real, essentially, if you get what I mean in that. So, there's that. Like I mentioned, there is the fact that no other character in this film really distinguishes himself other than Arnold. There's also the fact that this movie was poorly shot. It just, for a $35 million budget, shoot a better film. Have better cameras. Have better camera angles. Have better everything, basically. But when you get down to it, it was an engaging enough plot. It was an engaging enough uh, story, you know... And it's Arnold, blood and guts. I'm going to give it a 3 out of 5 stars because of that. It's entertaining enough, but it is by no means the best film. I mean, this is probably a B movie with Arnold Schwarzenegger. It just, it's not one of his A-plus movies for sure. But, okay, it was entertaining enough. It provided... You know, I was intrigued by the plot and all that sort of thing, and yeah, it was an engaging, it was an engaging enough movie. Three out of five stars isn't bad for it, you know. It's a fair review, I think I could that I could give it. I wrestled between three and two and a half, but because of the action and the, um, because of the action and. Yeah, because of the action and the violence and stuff like that, I give it a three, definitely. It is good. You know, it is a uh, good enough film. Good enough where I would recommend uh, you to watch it, definitely. Check it out. You know, see how it is. This movie was a box office bomb. On a $35 million budget, it only made 17 and a half to 18.4 million dollars and it only had a 19 percent rating on rotten tomatoes which i kind of understand in some ways but for me it was a good enough movie definitely and it was it is one of the later it is one of the more recent arnold films and in future videos i'm actually going to be talking about two people that were in this movie, Arnold and Terrence Howard. Uh, I those those videos will be coming up. Those about videos will be coming up later. So that is it for this video on the movie Sabotage. D Rock, nineteen ninety two.